The CPI numbers are in for April. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're going to dive into what this means for crypto in this video because the April CPI inflation data shows that U.S. inflation, the rate falls to 4.9%. That is below the expectation of 5%. And core CPI now is sitting right at 5.5%. Of course, that excludes some of the uh, data there. And this core CPI number is very, very important in terms of what the feds do. The core CPI inflation is now at 5.5% in line with that expect expectation of 5.5%. That excludes food and energy. This marks the 10th consecutive monthly drop in U.S. inflation rate. So as the Kobayashi letter says, a Fed pivot finally could be near. And we're going to talk about the uh, impact this could have on crypto. So this article right here dives into it a little bit deeper here. U.S. CPI inflation falls to 4.9% in April. Bitcoin rises above 28,000. So if we go over to coin market cap, we can quickly see that Bitcoin is rising on the news here today. Uh, so it could be a green day in the cryptocurrency markets. We are seeing a nice little bounce back here to start the day. A lot of this on the heels of what's happening here with CPI. So the annual U.S. In, uh, inflation rate, again, slowed to 4.9% in April from 5% in March. The price of Bitcoin coming up a little bit. Core CPI, which strips out food and energy costs, rose 0.40%. Now, at its last meeting earlier in May, because this is really what we want to know, right? What are they going to do next? What is Jerome Powell and company going to do next? Well, at their last meeting earlier in May here, the U.S. Federal Reserve's Federal Open Market Committee, FOMC, indicated it's considering at least a pause in its historic run of rate increases that's seen the central bank tank the benchmark Fed, rate, Fed fund rates from about 0% in early 2022 to a current target range of 5 to 5.25%. While that fast pace of rate hikes hasn't succeeded in bringing inflation down to the Fed's 2% target, it has slowly helped, right? The central bank also has its eyes on the growing troubles of the U.S. banking system, which has led to, most recently, First Republic Bank going under. Now, for the moment, traders are betting this morning's very modest moderation in inflation might give the Fed room for easier monetary policy. That's why we're seeing a nice little pop in the markets at large. The U.S. 10-year Treasury yield has declined seven basis points to 3.45%, uh, and the two-year nine basis points to 3.94%. And if we go over to Yahoo Finance, we could see that in addition to cryptocurrency, which is in the green here to start a little bit here today, we'll see if that continues, we are also seeing the stock market open up in the green as well. The S&P, the Dow, and the NASDAQ as inflation rises at its slowest annual rate in two years. Consumer prices in April slowed inflation pressures remain elevated in the U.S. economy, but headline prices continue to cool, which is good for us as investors. So that is what we've got here for today. Some good news for you, and we'll see what happens next. Will the, ped, uh, will the Fed pivot? Is that pivot going to happen next up here in June? We'll be here to break it down. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any crypto content right here on the channel. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day.